Hello my friends, now I will tell you something about my uh, etched uh, metal plate printing press, my engraving metal printing press, which uh, just showed in detail in my blog spot and you can use this for non-commercial purposes because there are some patents pending of this technique. Uh, there are other things I uh, used in my plates, it's be wax, it's uh, colophonium, some Judea bitumen, and there are uh, my working pieces of uh, needles for scratching and the knives and uh, a good stone for sharpening uh, this toys. And there are the products for protecting the plates, some liquid um, uh, and some uh, solid uh, things and waxes uh, for different uh, smoothness. And so there you see a protected plate, uh, which now is uh, ready for scratching in a hot nettle equipment uh, technique. And there you see a plate, which I've uh, just uh, drawn a picture, scratching out with uh, the hot needle. And uh, this is uh, the electrolytical etched uh, plate. Uh, and uh, now you have to protect uh, this plate uh, because uh, if not, the, the iron uh, would rapidly oxidize uh, in contact with the air. And there you see the galvanized uh, uh, plate which I did uh, protecting uh, the surface uh, with galvanizing it with a sink. There you see the uh, detailed uh, the, the scratched out lines and it's now ready for printing. I uh, do the printing in high technique here and uh, rolling some printing ink over the plate. There you see the details, the scratched out lines are not filled with printing ink and uh, so you could print uh, this in uh, the high technique. There is a result printed on paper. You see the scratched out lines are um, uh, you see them in white. And uh, now we will fill uh, the uh, scratched out lines uh, with uh, uh, this technique of low printing and fill them with uh, the printing ink and polish the plate after uh, painting it with the printing ink and uh, this is a normal technique printing in low and there you see the results. And now I will show you some things, some more details of uh, my printing press which I just uh, showed on my blog spot. It's a self-made uh, printing press. Uh, there you see the, uh, this uh, plate uh, just ready for printing. It's uh, always above uh, the printing port and uh, you see the two rollers. One propulsion roll and one for pressing roll with uh, simple bearings. It's just made out of recycled materials, so some felt. That now moving the propulsion uh, roller by hand, which lays in a simple bearing of metal. And uh, uh, they saw the screws for adjust, uh, adjusting the pressure on printing. Uh, that's moving the upper roller. We get the sort of metal uh, tubes, which are filled with uh, some stones and cement and some armating iron. And, uh, and this is the uh, view of uh, the two rolls. Let's just remove the printing support plate. In the buff you see uh, a plate with uh, two screws and with these uh, screws you could adjust your uh, pressure. This is a view from uh, the button. Well, if you want to see more details uh, you're invited to go to my blog spot where I describe in details the making of this uh, uh, printing press. Uh, once again, uh, I'll look at uh, the two uh, bearings of uh, two rollers, uh, lower is the propulsion roller and upper uh, there is uh, the printing roller, there you see it uh, lying the rolls in the bearings and the lower roller lies in a very simple um, bearing which is uh, just uh, some plate of iron. 
well, if you want to see this in detail, you should visit my blogspot. And uh, if you want to see more of my work, which I do using this uh, printer press, you, I invite you to visit my homepage. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.